Well, I would like to welcome all my new subscribers and I would like to thank everybody for watching my channel. Yeah, I just updated my board over there and uh, it has all the new names and so everybody can have a chance to, to win something. It turns out that one of the paintings wasn't claim at all. Cross your fingers because this little guy might be going home to you. And this painting goes to... Do -do -do -do. Here we go. Come on, did you really think I was gonna show you the winner of the painting at the beginning of the episode? So I'm feeling much better this week. Uh, thanks to everybody who sent me good well wishes. Uh, yeah, it seems that I was um, a victim of a mean deception. Nature's mean deception. That is the subject of today's painting. Deceptive nature. You might remember two weeks ago I was telling you um, how happy I was that spring was here and how I was enjoying the warm weather having a picnic, eating ice cream, and wearing a t-shirt. Well, I think I might have convinced myself that it was spring a little too quickly, but it was a lie. A lie, a lie, a lie. It was a lie. And the temperature actually it dropped quite a bit after that. But of course, I was so enchanted with the idea that winter was over. I was still acting as if it was warm outside, so I kept wearing uh, light jackets, no hat, no gloves, and so on and so on. Mm, you fooled me! No, you fooled me. The funny thing is that I was feeling cold outside when I was in the little, tiny, light jacket. But somehow I kept telling myself that it's normal and that it's not the temperature outside, but simply me feeling cold like I often do. If I drink anything that has ice on it, I always get chills, even if it's sunny, and even if I am outside. Doesn't make sense. At the end, I had to pay for it. I got a cold or a flu, I don't know what's the difference, but I got one of those. And I was, you know, I was stuffed, I had temperature and fever for a couple days, I don't know, I just hate to be sick. I was having nightmares. Could it be because of the cold? I don't know. Last time I was having nightmares was when I was wearing my retainer. So, I decided the reason why I got sick was because I was deceived by nature. Ah, poor things. Just look at them. They got tricked by the weather too. And now it's time for this week's winner. And this painting goes to... Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Uh -huh. This person. Now, about the painting. I would like the viewer to immediately notice a welcoming figure of a woman. The first impression is meant to be a very positive one. After all, she's holding tons of flowers and smiles at you. In order to convey that the woman represents nature, I created her entire figure and features by carefully positioning the flowers. When you look closely, you will see that every line, every single line making up her face or body really is the line I used to paint the flower with. As a matter of fact, if you ever have a chance to see the painting up close, you won't see the woman at all. You will see a painting full of flowers. I hope that on the second look, the viewer will start noticing things that are um, somewhat disturbing. Her eyes are very small and a bit mischievous. Her smile is mischievous as well. The flowers that she's holding are squeezed tightly together with very strong powerful arms sure 
the arms are only big lips but notice how the flowers are pretty close together yeah they're suffocating both arms slashed lips spiral at the end i often associate a spiral with danger like a spiral of a tornado a black hole water current or the arms of an octopus or i thought this little touch would make her appear a bit more evil finally on the left side we see her holding a flower but notice that the green part of the flower does not form a straight line most likely she grabbed it so strong the poor thing broke and she's covering it with her spiral leaf it is so fascinating how nature which is so beautiful can be also dangerous and sometimes even deadly often killing what it itself created i decided i will also give away uh, this piece that is called uh, happy dreams and whoever wins get gets the three panels because this is how it is and this painting goes to something congratulations and do not worry if you didn't win better luck next time i really hope you guys enjoyed uh, this episode and see ya next sunday bye eat your cookies hmm.